everyone. So welcome to day two of my coffee series. Today we're going to be making these iced coffee shaped cards using honeybee stamps, frappe die set and some sentiments from honeybee stamps as well. Here is the die for the frappe shape card by honeybee stamps and this is a really large die set and it makes a really large card so you will need a full sheet of 11 inch by eight and a half inch cardstock to make this card and you'll need a large die cutting machine like the spellbinders platinum plus in order to be able to fit it through your die machine so on this 11 by eight and a half inch card you would place your card base diagonally like this and then there is room for the remaining elements to be placed around the card so if you wanted to do a Copic colored version, you could just cut all of your pieces on this white paper and then color them in. So I'm just showing you here that they, all, they do all fit if you arrange them like this. So we have our whip topping, our lid, our straw, our coffee cup, and then our card base. And then there are also these two little circles that you can use to embellish or adorn your card. So this lid I'm going to cut out of acetate and I'm going to use this acetate right here. This is how it comes. It's just clear plastic and it's going to give us a really cool look to our finished card. And we are going to get started by working on the whipped cream topping at the top of the card. So I cut out the whipped cream um, element from the set and then we're going to use this puffy embossing powder and lacquer pen by Hero Stamps that was developed specifically to help you make snow or to help you make froth on coffee cards. And we're gonna put a first layer of our froth down by just um, rubbing my die cut against my Versamark ink pad and then I'm gonna apply the puffy embossing powder um, to the entire piece here and then I am going to heat it up with my heat gun. And the purpose here is just to get us a nice background texture of this kind of foamy, frothy whip topping. And then we are going to add a second layer and we're gonna add some more texture with this second layer. And to do so, we're gonna take the lacquer pen that is included in that little froth kit from Hero Arts and we're gonna kind of rub it on some areas of our whip topping so that some areas are gonna appear puffier than others. Then we're going to take our textured embossing powder again, and we're going to um, now take the heat gun and dry it and watch how cool this is. Look at how the foam or the whip topping just kind of puffs up as you apply the heat to it. I love this, it's magic, right? Okay, so that looks good to me. I think my Topping is frothy and whipped enough. So now I'm gonna put it aside to cool down while we work on the rest of the card. Isn't that so cute? I love it. All right, so we're going to do some ink blending here with Distress Oxide Ink in Vintage Photo. And we're going to start at the top of the glass working downwards. And this technique, I learned this technique from Nicole Spore. She also did a video on this card and I really like this method of using the Distress Oxide inks um, to give it that kind of coffee and, and milky texture that you get from a latte when it's not quite, or an iced latte when it's not quite mixed up enough. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you another version that uses Copic markers to get the same effect and you can let me know what you like best. I'm gonna darken up the top and the side edges with some gathered twigs Distress Oxide ink. This part wasn't really necessary, but had my inks out, so I was like, why not have fun and use a bunch of them. Then I sprayed some water on top um, so we can have some little bubble effects going on in our latte. And then I sprayed it again. And now we're just gonna dry off our, our card with the heat gun and then put this aside and start working on the next step to finish the card. So I just, I love how that looks. I love the white bottom. So now I'm gonna take the entire card base and I'm gonna fold it in half. And this card opens from the bottom. And then I'm going to tape down the latte section that we just worked on. And that looks good to me. 
and these little die cuts fit perfectly in place on the card. And then we're gonna put some sprinkles into our whip topping. And originally I was gonna do it um, sprinkle by sprinkle, and I'll show you what that looks like. I would put like a dot of glossy accents and then go pick up a little sprinkle and put it down. And then I quickly grew impatient. So I'm gonna show you a quicker way of getting the sprinkles on. So here I'm just putting a whole bunch of little dots and then I'm just gonna dump my sprinkles right on top of that. And then maybe try again. And then I'm gonna press the sprinkles into the phone with my hand, being careful not to kind of crush down that little whip topping. And then add some more um, glossy accents and sprinkles where I thought the areas looked a little bit bare, pressing them in as I go. And that looks good to me. So now we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna adhere the whip topping to the back of the card. And I'm using some score tape for this just to make sure that that whip topping is good and strongly adhered to the card, to the card front. And I'm just going to stick that in, pop it into place, and then press the edges down with my tool in one. Now we're gonna put a uh, work on the little lip of the lid and I'm using some pattern paper and some cardstock here and then we're going to put the little straw behind our whip topping and this is pattern paper by MFT stamps it was released this winter and then I took the little lid for our frappe and I die cut that out of acetate and then we're going to put the lip of the lid on top and then apply two layers of foam tape behind that. And we are going to attach that right in front of the whip topping. So I'd love to hear from you how you like this look. So I'm trying to make it look like it is an actual, um, you know, little ice latte with a plastic lid on top. I think it would also work if you didn't put the plastic on top, but I thought it would be fun to try out that look to see. So I'd love to hear from you what you think. Now we're just gonna decorate and add the sentiment to our card and these two little circles come with a frappe die set. So it's a little, um, helps you to embellish your card. And this coffee die cut is also by Honeybee Stamps and it's part of their coffee sentiments um, stamp and die sets that were released in November, 2017. I am gonna put some score tape on the back of this little sentiment strip and then we're going to attach it right to the lid of the card, kind of hanging off because I don't want to cover up too much of my whipped cream. And I also want that pretty um, green polka dot lip to show through. For the bottom part of the sentiment, we're going to pop that up on one inch of foam tape. And then we're going to add some little hearts. And that is it. So that is our first card. Now we're just going to add some glossy accents over the hearts to make them stand out. I just love this. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. This is a great card to give to a friend. You could pop a little coffee gift card on the inside. And then here is the second version I made, um, also with all Honeybee products. And I, for my ink blending here, I use Copic markers in the E30s family to achieve the same look. It took a lot of time, maybe four times as long as it took me to do the Distress Oxide ink blended version. So I highly recommend the Distress Oxide ink version for this look. I also think the Distress Oxide looks smoother than the Copics. So I would love to hear from you in the comments as to which of the cards you like better and what you're all doing for your own coffee themed cards. Have a great day everyone and I will see you again soon in the next video.